Good morning PLC. Today is August 17th and it is time for my next update. Um, today I want to quickly talk about uh, what I did different this uh, year or for this season. Um, it's only my second year growing and last season I probably only produced about 20-30 peppers. Um, this season you know I did a lot of research last year and I got a lot of help from the community. Uh, so I want to show you the products and the things that I'm using. So in the beginning, um, this was actually the potting mix soil, the organic potting mix soil that I bought from uh, Home Depot. So it was, <clears throat> it was a little on the cheap side. And I think this is a three cubic feet and it was a, around $10 a, a bag. So I needed a whole bunch to like fill my raised bed and everything. So in the beginning, um, that's all I use. And um, I added a little bit of worm casting. But um, <clears throat> then later on, I ran into uh, some issue with some uh, calcium deficiencies. And the plants weren't just looking too good. So after that, I decided to um, throw some compost on top. And do a little mixture of... Uh, this bag of uh, chicken manure. This is also from Home Depot and it's it's very inexpensive. It's like three dollars a bag. So I mean that that helped out and uh, I also fed um, the plants uh, cow made for like a few weeks and it started to uh, recover nicely. So I mean what I would recommend differently for the soil mix I mean I, I might be wrong but uh, next year I will probably get better soil and I will probably do uh, worm casting you know maybe some a little bit of chicken manure and then uh, add a little bit perlite to the soil for, for drainage so <clears throat> okay and then my plants were uh, looking better and I it started to show signs of uh, flowers uh, what I did was <clears throat> I gave it one feeding of uh, this fish uh, bone meal fertilizer so <clears throat> but also and also besides this one I was also fertilizing with the Alaska fish fertilizer like every week or so like in the beginning and um, <clears throat> once the the flowers started coming out oh actually you know what I I did fertilizing with Alaska fish fertilizer and I will switch uh, back and forth and you know, feed it some of the America Grow plant food, and that helped out a lot. <clears throat> so, when the flowers started uh, coming out more, uh, I was feeding it Cool Bloom. So I stopped the plant food, and uh, I switched over to Cool Bloom. And I also would do like some mixture of um, Epsom salt in between here and there. So, yeah, this is uh, some of the products I'm using. So I'm just testing it out, you know, switching back and forth with Cool Bloom and uh, the rose plant food. So I'm just seeing which one works best, but to be honest, I can't really tell because, I mean, the pods are already set and already. But yeah, here's what I'm using for this season. So I'm going to quickly do a quick update on the plants. So right here we have the Lemon Starburst. King Star Lemon Starburst. This one is in a, in a 32 gallon trash can. And then we have the brother that's in a 20 gallon. Looking nice and healthy. And these two alone, I, let me see. I think I, I'm, I'm climbing up to close to 400 pods with these two plants combined. And I already harvest a whole bunch. And I harvest before I made this video. I should have just done it during the video. But I still have some pods still sitting on there. Ripening up. There's some more left. Then we got the Rick's. Oh, the mixed raised bed. I already picked a good amount of pods off of these guys already. 
So I'll just go quickly through them. So we got the Kingsta Star uh, uh, Texas Crimson Bonnet. I picked quite a few already and I still have more ripening up. We got the seven pod brain strain uh, yellow. Also, I should have more pods in a few days. Should harvest them soon. I don't like to leave them on the plant too long because we have those little caterpillars that, you know, likes to eat a hole through them. Pod. Got some more over here. Then we got the seven pot brain strain uh, brown. But this one looks a little different. I don't know if it's just a regular seven pod. Doesn't look like uh, all my other brain strain. One little guy ripening up right there. Sorry, it's a little bushy. I'm trying to get through these. Okay, well. Then we got some uh, Scotch Bonnet times uh, Jonah. Or yeah, Scotch brain or Scotch bonnet? I don't remember. I need to check. Check my little diagram. And these right here have some very interesting looking pods. Which is very beautiful. Got some Kingstar Scarlet Rose right here. Very beautiful phenol right here. Looks just like the, the Lemon Starburst. I got some over there starting to ripen up. Beautiful pods. These crosses are very amazing. Got some MOA uh, Scotch bonnet over here. Then we have the reaper bed. Which are loaded with pods. So I'm expecting a good harvest on all my reaper plants. Beautiful stingers. Then we have this like five five feet five inch five inches tall uh, purple reaper over here. This thing is starting to load up with a lot of pods. Some 
some more right there, see? Okay, moving on. Then we got the mystery pepper. Purple blush leaves. Uh, looks like it has dark stems. And it was supposed to be dragon breath, but it's not. This one looks like a little hornet. So right now it's, it's ripening up um, orange. And it seems to want to turn red after that. So I don't know what kind of cross this is, but it looks like a like it has some type of bootla or something in there. The pods are very beautiful. Yeah, hopefully I'll figure out what it is. Then I got my yellow weeper here. And I thought it didn't have any pods, but I found this guy hiding under the leaves. Got the brain strain, uh, some pot brain strain red in the back. We got a few more starting to ripen up. I love the way they look. And we have the giant ahi lemon drops. And keep in mind, uh, this little brick bed thingy actually didn't really do much to the soil. Um, I, I basically planted it when uh, just whatever dirt that was already in there. Um, all I did was top it off with... Um, some uh, compost and chicken maneuver and regular feedings with like the cold blooms and stuff and just uh, like i mentioned before this guy is completely loaded and i had to like stake it up because it was starting to fall over the place and there's i already harvest a whole bunch of fruits on it already and i think i Probably should do another harvest soon. I had to be very careful to not break the branches. Get a whole bunch ripening up. Got some more. Also, I wanted to show you guys, I made a big, big mistake. I have big black mama back here. And uh, the ahi lemon drops are taking over. It's like not enough space. But I do have some awesome looking pods. So next year, I definitely won't be doing that. Yeah, this thing is pretty loaded with pods. To my left, I have some uh, Jay's Peach Ghost. Starting to shoot out some pods.
Got the him and goats over here. Got a few more starting to ripen up. I already picked quite a few yesterday. It came out, came back out today, and there's more on here. Then we got the Trinidad Scorpion Yellow. I gotta be careful not to break any branches. There's not a lot of space in here. Got that one over there. Then we got the caramel Trinidad Scorpion or that I saved from my coworker. I gave it to him when it was young and he brought it back in really bad shape, but it seems like I kind of fixed it already. And we have some pepper sightings. Should be a few more somewhere. And these two right here are the Trinidad Scorpion chocolate. I think I have some uh, pods starting to ripen up. Still see a little brown in it. Yeah. And unfortunately, this one got sunburned, but I'm going to still let it ripen. I just cut off the burn part if it survives. And last, the butcher look. The boat, Butchalokia. I know there's pods somewhere. Yeah, so this is just a quick update. What's going on in the garden? So let's go inside and I'll show you um, what I harvest yesterday. All right, guys, here it is, the one that I harvest from uh, yesterday. Uh, my kitchen table is a mess right now. I got a lot going on. So before I show you the the peppers that I harvest yesterday, I'm going to show you a few other things. Here is my dehydrated uh, ahi lemon drops and it's looking very good. So these are a little on the mild side and I decided I want to make uh, pepper flakes for my beef jerky. Like a mild beef jerky. So this should be perfect for it. I'm definitely going to make some super hot ones too, awesome. So it's all nice and dry and and crisp. So for those of you that have questions about pepper dehydrating, so I, I found it best around uh, the temperature around 140 degrees. And I mean, just depending on the variety or the size of the pods, it'll probably take anywhere in between 12 to 16 hours and here's the result of them nice little golden yellow or golden brown whatever and over here I got some seeds that are getting dried get ready to save them for next season and uh, do a couple giveaways or do some trading and this uh, plate right here is some um, the one with the really perfect pheno, which I'm uh, saving mostly for myself. Have some seeds, uh, the seven pod brain strain yellow. Here's some more other uh, Kings uh, lemon starburst seeds that I'm saving to give away or trade. Then I have a, a ton of uh, ahi lemon drop seeds. Then uh, a few. Uh, Trinidad uh, scorpion yellow and some MOA scotch bonnets over there. I got my powder over here. 
This one is a super hot blend. See, check it out. I think I have uh, mostly seven pot brain strain yellow in there and uh, a little bit of a uh, Trinidad scorpion yellow. But um, <laughs> this is a start, so I'm, I'm just gonna mix up all the other seven pods uh, that I have, which are the reds, the chocolate, the other Trinidad. So, I mean, it, it'll be a super hot. And this right here is pure Kingston Lemon Starburst Powder. And it has a very, very good flavor. I mean, it's smooth burn and just the flavor, it's, it's very delicious. You can, you can definitely taste the, the flavor of the, of the pod, you know, once you um, dehydrate them and, and grind them down in a, a neutral bullet or something. Okay, let me show you uh, the pods that I harvested yesterday. Um, these are from the plants that, uh, that I showed you earlier. So let's start off with the Kingsta Texas Crimson Bonnet. Nice, uh, beautiful red pods. A couple different phenols. Oh, this one came out a little different. Has a nice little stinger. It's a, definitely a, a seed saver right there. So I really like this one. So this is the Kingsta, Kingstar um, Texas Crimson Bonnet. And I got some Bahamian goats over here. Nice big pods. See? Plumped. So I heard these were really good. I, have, I haven't tasted them yet, but I'm going to. And then we have some MOA Scotch Bonnet. I actually had some that had stingers and came out in a different pheno, but here's the one I picked off. Then we have the seven pot brain strain yellow right here. So I have one that's four lobe. Beautiful. And then I have another that's Three lobe. It's another three lobe. And this one right here is my Trinidad Scorpion yellow. Nice and bumpy. Beautiful. I love every single pod that's on this table. <laughs> Then I have some uh, Kingsta Star uh, Scarlet Rose. This one has a little stinger. There's a couple pods on there that looks identical to uh, Lemon Starburst. This the shape and the stingers. And of course, my Lemon Starburst. Beautiful Fino. This is beautiful. Look at the stinger on there. That is definitely a seed saver for sure. Let me just look at them. Beautiful. And my first plants, I have two of them that's in a, just like I showed you earlier, one is in a 20 uh, uh, gallon uh, jug. And that one, I don't remember. I think it was like 173 pods already. And um, the 32-gallon one that's in the trash can, it's that one produced, I want to say, 156 pods or something like that. I don't, I don't remember. I would, I would have, have to check like my Excel sheet. But yeah. Those two plant alone, <laughs> I harvest close to 400 pods already, which, which is definitely good for me compared to last year where I barely got probably 20 or 30 pods the whole season. And last, it is my seven pod brain strain red. Just very wicked, nice and bumpy. These things are lethal, I'm, I'm telling you, I mean,
I haven't tried the Carolina Reaper yet, but I'm really scared to. And I have like seven plants on the Carolina Reaper. But these seven pods right here, I tried it for the first time the other day. And oh my God, let me tell you. It's, I mean, the symptoms I had were thick saliva, runny nose, um, watery eyes, burning in the throat, burning in the tongue. And for some reason, when it started burning uh, my throat, like the pain traveled all the way up to my ears. And I had pain in my ears. I had stomach cramp. And I was actually at work. And I almost couldn't even eat my lunch. I almost skipped my lunch. I mean, that's how bad it was for me. I mean, I'm, this is the first year I'm trying super hots. And that was a crazy experience. So... I'm a little bit scared of my Carolina Reaper. And I also have the Purple Reaper also. Oh yeah. Before I end the video. This poor guy right here. This is one of the Carolina Reaper. And I think I knocked it off when I was fertilizing. So I feel bad. I mean, it's just a beautiful pod really wicked looking so I'm just gonna leave it for a while and see if it'll ripen up maybe I can uh, put it to use dehydrator or something yeah so last season I had a few good pods and it was the one with all the stingers and that's the seeds I use and almost every single one of my pods have like crazy stinger and, and really bumpy and wicked looking yeah my kitchen table is a little mess but you know this has to get done so there you go just wanted to show you guys real quick and uh thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next update all right you guys have a wonderful weekend goodbye